Hello friends. Now you are watching Thun Raj Creation channel. If you get knowledge from this video then like this video and share with your friends. Today topic Here are some important short interview questions related to reverse osmosis, row, plants, along with brief answers. 1. What is reverse osmosis? Reverse osmosis is a water purification process that uses a semi-permeable membrane to remove impurities from water. 2. Why is reverse osmosis used for water treatment? Rope is used to remove contaminants like salts, minerals, and organic matter from water, making it suitable for various applications. 3. How does reverse osmosis work? Rope works by applying pressure to force water through a membrane, leaving impurities behind. 4. What are the main components of an row system? An row system typically consists of a membrane, pressure pump, storage tank, and prefilters. 5. What is the purpose of prefilters in row? Prefilters remove larger particles and protect the row membrane from damage. 6. What is the typical pressure range used in row? Row systems typically operate at pressures between 40 to 70 pounds per square inch, pounds per inch too. 7. What is the rejection rate of row membranes? Row membranes can reject 90 to 99% of dissolved solids and impurities. 8. How often should row membranes be replaced? Row membranes should be replaced every 2 to 3 years, depending on usage and water quality. 9. What is the recovery rate in row systems? Recovery rate is the ratio of purified water produced to the incoming feed water. It's usually around 25 to 75 percent. 10. What is the purpose of a pressure pump in row? The pressure pump is used to maintain the required pressure for efficient filtration. 11. What is the difference between row and distillation? Row filters water through a membrane, while distillation involves boiling and condensing water. 12. Can row remove bacteria and viruses? Yes, row can remove bacteria and viruses if the membrane has a small enough pore size. 13. What are the applications of row besides drinking water? Row is used in industries like pharmaceuticals, desalination, and wastewater treatment. 14. How can you optimize the performance of a row system? Regular maintenance, proper cleaning, and monitoring water quality are essential. 15. What is the typical lifespan of a row system? With proper maintenance, a row system can last 10 to 15 years or more. 16. What is the difference between a one-stage and a two-stage row system? A one-stage row has a single membrane, while a two-stage row has two membranes for higher purity. 17. What is TDS in water and how does row affect it? TDS, total dissolved solids, measures the concentration of dissolved ions in water. Row reduces TDS. 18. Can row remove chlorine from water? Yes, row can remove chlorine and its byproducts. 19. What is the role of a flow restrictor in row? A flow restrictor helps control the flow of water through the row membrane. 20. How do you store row water safely? Store row water in a clean, food-grade container to prevent contamination. 
21. What are the common challenges in row operation? Scaling, fouling, and membrane damage are common challenges. 22. What is the difference between brackish water and seawater desalination with row? Seawater desalination requires more pressure and specialized membranes due to higher salinity. 23. What are the environmental concerns associated with row? Row can produce prime waste, which needs proper disposal. 24. How does temperature affect row performance? Row works best at moderate temperatures, extreme heat or cold can affect efficiency. 25. Can row remove heavy metals from water? Yes, row can effectively remove heavy metals like lead and mercury. 26. What is the role of pH in row treatment? pH can affect the stability of the row membrane, and optimal pH levels are typically around 7. 27. What is the cost of operating and row system? Costs include energy for the pump, membrane replacement, and maintenance. 28. How does row compare to other water purification methods? Row is highly effective but may have higher initial costs compared to some other methods. 29. Can row systems be used for well water treatment? Yes, row is often used to treat well water. 30. What is the difference between permeate and concentrate in row? Permeate is the purified water, while concentrate is the rejected water containing impurities. 31. What is the role of a post filter in an row system? A post filter can further polish the water and remove any residual taste or odors. 32. How does row affect water hardness? Row reduces water hardness by removing calcium and magnesium ions. 33. What is the role of a check valve in an row system? A check valve prevents backflow and ensures water flows in one direction. 34. How do you troubleshoot low water production in an row system? Check for clogged filters, a malfunctioning pump, or low feed water pressure. 35. What safety precautions should be taken when working with row systems? Avoid contact with chemicals, follow manufacturer's guidelines, and wear appropriate protective gear. 36. What is the difference between microfiltration and row? Microfiltration removes larger particles, while row removes dissolved solids and ions. 37. Can row systems be used for commercial and industrial purposes? Yes, row is widely used in commercial and industrial settings for various applications. 38. What is the ideal feed water quality for an row system? Low turbidity, free chlorine, and speed, cell density index, are desirable for optimal row performance. 39. How does row contribute to water conservation? Row can make trackish or seawater sources usable, reducing the demand for freshwater sources. Forty. What is the role of an anti-scalant in row treatment? Anti-scalants are chemicals added to prevent scaling on the row membrane. Forty-one. How does row affect the taste and odor of water? Row can improve the taste and odor by removing contaminants. 42. Can a row system be used for whole house water treatment? Yes, whole house row systems are available for comprehensive water purification. 43. 
What is the difference between cross flow and dead end filtration in rope? Cross flow filtration continuously sweeps impurities away, while dead end filtration doesn't. 44. What is the purpose of a pressure gauge in an row system? A pressure gauge monitors the system's pressure, helping to detect issues. 45. Can row systems remove pesticides and herbicides from water? Yes, row can effectively remove many pesticides and herbicides. 46. What is the role of a conductivity meter in row? A conductivity meter measures the purity of the water by detecting ions. 47. How do you disinfect and row system? Use appropriate chemicals or UV sterilization to disinfect and row system. 48. What is the role of a permeate pump and row? A permeate pump can improve the efficiency of an row system by reducing water waste. 49. What is the future of row technology? Advances in row technology may lead to increased efficiency and reduced environmental impact. If you get knowledge from this video then like this video and share with your friends. If this channel is new for you then subscribe this channel and click bell icon. Thanks for watching.